Welcome to the fifth EnView Composer tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take our template page and use it to make all of our other pages. So first, we need to open up our COM template page. To do that, we'll go to Open, select Template, and Open again. Here is our template page. Now, to change this page for all of our other ones, we need to select File and Save As. When it brings up Save As, you'll notice that you can't see your template page. That's because it's an HTML file, and this is looking at XHTML files. So we'll switch this from XHTML to All Files. Now we'll see our template page. We want this to become our home page, so now we're going to change this from template to index and always put in .html. Select Save. Now you notice that we have our page. We can notice one of the first problems. Com template is still the title. Again, this is what will display in the top of the web browser. We don't want it to display that. You would think that you could just double click on it to change it, but you can't. So we have to go up to Format and select Page Title and Properties. Here now we can change this to title. We want to put in Com 201 Homepage. Let's add a dash in the middle. Then if you'd like to, you can also put your name here as the author. And you could put in the description of the page. Then select OK. Now we have the correct page. COM201-HOMEPAGE. Hit Control S. That saves what we've done so far. So now we have our index page. But our index page isn't displaying the links that we want properly. First of all, you don't need to link to the same page that you're on. So we can get rid of the home link. Hitting it, uh, delete two times will bring this up to projects at the top. Now on your projects page, you'll have links directly related to your embedded video and your photo gallery. So there's no need to have these pages linked here either. Now we're left with my choice. These are the only two links that need to be on this page. However, the bottom has your glo bottom global navigation bar, which has all of the links for all of the pages on your website. Now your index page or your home page is done. Let's hit Control S to save. Now that we've saved, we're done with the index page for now. Select close. And let's open up our template again. Now that we have our template, we can move on to our projects page. Selecting File, Save As, and switching this again to All Files. The file name for this is proj.html. It's very important that you spell it correctly, so please check your work. Select Save. Now we can change the web page title. Format, Page Title and Properties. Replacing template with 201 space dash space projects. Select OK. Now we need to put in the correct links. Because the embedded video and photo gallery will be on this page, we can leave that. Also, my choice. We need to get rid of projects. Now we have the four links that we need home, embedded video, photo gallery, and my choice. Projects page is complete for now. Control S. Now that we've saved the projects page, we can close out of it. Open our template. And again, file, save as, change this to all files. And this is going to be our embedded video page. We'll call it vid.html. Select Save. Now we need to change the title. Format, Title and Properties, take out template, 201 embedded video. OK. Now we can get rid of the embedded video link. 
keeping the links to the other projects, photo gallery, my choice, and there's always home. Select Control S to save. Now we're done with the embedded video page and we can get rid of it. Select Open, Template, Open. Now we can save this one to become our photo gallery page. Select File, Save As. Here is Save As Type, Change to All Files. And we'll change this to gallery.html. Then we can update the page title. Format, page title and properties, com 201 photo gallery. Select OK. Then we just need to get rid of the photo gallery link. Selecting the photo gallery link, delete two times, and now you're left with the appropriate links. Control S to save. Now that we're done with the photo gallery, we can move on to the My Choice page. Close out, open, template, select File, and Save As, All Files, and put in choice.html. Select Save. Now we need to change the page title. My choice. Select OK. Now we just need to get rid of the My Choice link in the side nav bar. Select Control S. Now we create we've created all the main pages for our website. Let's test them to see how the links work. Select File. Browse page. Again, your web browser loads. Now again, this is the choice.html file. Let's go home. We can select that in three different locations. The picture, the home button, and the other home button. Let's select the picture. Here's our index page. Looks like everything worked. Let's try projects. Embedded video, photo gallery, my choice again. Home, projects, embedded video, photo gallery, my choice. All of the links now work. If your links don't work, you need to go back and check all of the file names. They have to match. Projects page is proj.html. The choices page is choice.html. You'll notice that as we click my choice, it is linked to the choice.html page. All of these file names have to be the same. Congratulations, you've now just finished the fifth tutorial.